Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to Norwood Suite. I'm Zinker, this is Solo Act. I'm actually of the Skeletons though, but Solo Act's the name of the show when it's just me by myself. Uh, so we left off in front of this hotel room. I think I'm going to do 14 minute episodes for the rest of these. Um, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how much I feel like I've accomplished. But this is room 204, this is apparently our hotel room. Um... Achievement unlocked. Checked in. I really thought we were going to go to the Norwood suite. What's this? You got a piano key for the note of D. Ah, I think I know where that goes. If you're reading this, then you have successfully checked into your room. At the concierge desk, a gentleman will give you a compact disc. You must take it without hesitation. It is for DJ Bogger, who's currently spinning records at his dance party in the hotel basement. How you get into the basement, I leave that for you to sort out. This piano key and these computer monitors should offer guidance on this front. Once we have confirmation that DJ Bogger has received the, your CD, the payment will be wired to you by the morning. We believe in you, sir. So they knew we were going to get in this room. So we have to give a disc to DJ Bogger. That is our goal. Missing Peter A. Norwood. Last seen July 4th, 1983. Interesting. This TV monitor does not help me at all. I don't know why. I hope I can save. Oh, oh, oh. I don't. What is that? That's fucking disgusting. I don't. Who leaves? That's a the wrongest place for that. Can I save in here? Let's re save. There's no more, more heroes have you do that, like. If you, like, go to the bathroom, you save. It's a funny save system. I just flood the world by that. That is the coolest and yet weirdest way to do water I've ever seen. What's, I, well, I already fought, flushed it, so there's some unspeakable in there. What the hell? Um. 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 Okay, so this is where the bathroom wall would normally stop, like right here, right? And you walk in. I guess there would be a shower here. See, the problem is this looks like death. Look, this is the pathway to death. That's what this is. It's lined with piano keys. That's how you know. That's what the pathway to death looks like. Well, I'll do what I do when I normally find a mysterious path in the bathroom. I'll follow it all the way in. Ah, yes. I. The human lock, the first to blue. Uh. Hello. Is he pouring his hot coffee on him? Or hot water? What the hell is going on here? I don't. I don't understand. This is gonna be like one of those things where I end up back to where I walked out. Because that. I don't like these unsettling noises coming from here. Um, this isn't right. This isn't right at all. So you're just throwing it all away then? Oh, I got chill. Certainly not that. I just got distracted. I always honor my clients' deadlines. And here I thought you'd finish your string quartet this weekend. Well, the agency called today. They need five versions of Happy Mouth by Sunday. What do you? What do they want with that awful song? It's for a Saturn Noodles birthday cake ramen campaign. What a shame, June. I mean, money is money, and I can't really say no. Are you writing with sheet music at least? My computer is so much faster, Dad. Except when it's broken, as you can see. But you're always so much more expressive when you write away from your computer. Well, now I don't have a choice, Dad. This place, there's a, bound to be some blank sheet music lying around. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if you even want to write your own music anymore. Stop, Dad. So how's it going with the board meeting preparation? Dreadful. Really? Land ownership disputes are a walk in the park for you. This module organization I'm going up against. They've done their homework on this whole deal. Far more than I could manage on my own. The acquisition of Norwood Hotel is an end of to them. Okay, that's what I was thinking. So, it's just you standing in their way, eh? A lot of the regular red tape is standing in their way. The module can afford to slice through it. 
Well, I do have an ace up my sleeve. It's literally just an ace of spades. Is that what you always say? Yes, I always carry it with me. This one's a doozy, though. But it could have serious re repercussions for everyone involved. What do you mean? You know I can't tell you, June. So you want to take a walk down by the waterfall? Some charts, at least for the next few hours. Not even a little stroll, Dad? June, not this time. How about after the conference tomorrow? Brought you in a deep rave to Sunday morning? We can go after that. But I'll be on the bus back to the city by then. Well, June, I guess I'll just grind away a happy mouth all weekend. Please try and finish that string quartet like you promised. Or if I had some blank music paper. June, sigh. Alright. I like the dot the dots letting you know it's the end of the conversation. Are you just throwing it all away then? Certainly not that. I just got distracted. Oh. Strange, you don't look like the bartender to me. Yeah, that's what I said. And always on my client's set of lines. Oh, do they say this no matter where I am? And I always honor my client's set of lines. And here I thought you'd finish your string quartet this weekend. Well, the industry called today. Okay, so I didn't actually need to stand on the other side of the wall and do that. But okay. Um, can I just pull anything off here? I know I got the blue moose to go give that drunk guy outside or whatever. At least I can give him one. Whatever is needed. Where am I? Norwood sequence number one to six. Oh, here I am. Do you... As your concierge, my job is to provide answers should uncertainty arise. I see you made it to your room, number 204. Been trusted to give you this. You got Muriel's demo CD. Muriel, the woman that CD apparently belongs to, requests you give it to DJ Bogger. As you probably go in Bogger is spinning records down stairs as you speak. Getting access to the party requires that you wear a mandatory eight-piece costume. Regrettably, I can't provide you with the costume to enter the dance party myself. No costume mannequin up in room 316 in the Lord's Suite, but that room sealed off. Mirror may have left some indication in your room as to how you might be able to gain access. Something to do with what's on those computer monitors on your desk. And a piano in the theater, so I can share with you a few other things. My brother told me of your arrival, stranger. If you're so inclined, I'll mean a few words of guidance. Throughout this place, there are other guests and assorted attendees. I would assist them myself with this book. This book has me in its sweet embrace. If you want to make yourself useful, you'll have to approach these guests. Find out what they want on behalf of the hotel. Who knows, you might even be rewarded for your trouble. I hear that's how it works these days. I'll be able to guide you further if anyone, if you meet anyone of specific interest. Several of those module people are around the parking lot outside. Placed an order for Blue Moose not long ago, but our bartender, Nadia, fired her because she kept sipping the merchandise. That said, every registered cup guest gets a free case thanks to our sponsorship agreement, so consider following through and becoming a guest yourself if you haven't already. That group of musicians by the stairs, so demanding and way too curious for their own good. Here, Ms. Zane. All right. Well, we—he's a hint guy, so we'll come back and uh, we'll come back to that. We already know what one thing we can do. We just gotta go hand it to them. So let's go give them a case of blue moose and see what the fuck they do. And just explode. I don't know why I said it so angrily. What the fuck they do? Those fucking assholes. I—I I guess I could take the elevator. It's kind of close to the piano key location, so I'll do that. It'll be fun. We haven't taken the elevator. I like elevators. I actually don't. I got my arm stuck in an elevator once. That was a story. I was young, um, and the doors start. I guess the. I thought I got like I got stuck in the doors, but like I wish I did. But like they actually like sucked my arm in. Um, they didn't like didn't like crush my hand or something like that. It just sucked my arm in, and I got really scared, and my mom freaked out. Then I pulled out. Um, then my mom took the elevator by herself upstairs, and I was just left downstairs, and I had to run. I ran all the way up the stairs in my apartment, because I was like, ah, the elevators. And I was just fucking scared of elevators for a while. Yeah. I mean, I guess I'm okay with elevators, but, like, I don't, I don't like them too much. Ah, service at last. I, here. Just in time, a six packs of the good old stuff. You gave a six pack of Blue Moose. Uh, thanks. You get yourself a new personal assistant, Courtney? Nonsense. A friend here just knows how to, how to, as they say, um, read the tea leaves. 
unlike the rest of those kids dancing away their allowance money in the basement. Those kids, I want to underestimate them. You're helping the right people, stranger. For that, I want to give you something. You got Courtney's locker key, number 52. Here's the key to my locker. Could you do me a favor and grab me my flask from out of there? Becoming Courtney's personal footman, you better watch yourself, stranger. The lockers are by the pool. You're welcome to whatever else you find in there. The hotel gives me a lot of knickknacks because I've been such a frequent guest. Does the staff even know why that is, Courtney? Sure, but what do I care? Nadia knows what's at stake. Is that why she hired Alan Miranda for the meeting tomorrow? Lucy, I don't even want to think about Miranda right now. You say you're on such good terms with Nadia, and then... Overthinking. In fact, my new friend here is going to help keep my mind clear, eh? Swag, you find these yours in my flask. Are we going to offer similar swag when a company starts giving tours here? Be honest, Lucy, it'll be 15 years before we even consider giving a tour. Besides, I've never heard of a company giving a tour of a server farm. S is this all this place is to you, Courtney, and a potential server farm? Once tomorrow's meeting goes down and we move in, we'll be able to mold this place exactly to our company's needs. Nothing more, nothing less. As for you, stranger, grab my flask and meet us at the bar. You've got a very promising path of view, I'm sure of it. Her face is just weird. It, it's just so weird. Alright, see you guys at the bar. I'm going to take the elevator. You guys want to come ride an elevator? Maybe you'll get your arm stuck in it. Yeah, I'm going to ride this elevator. I'm going to ride this elevator all the way to the locker 52. That's right, it's right here on the other side of this elevator at the top. I guess. Alright. I need to get paid. I... <laughs> That's both a real life thing and like a not real life thing. Alright. Let's go out of piano key. Bam. Oh, so I'm missing two more. So I need I need all those piano keys. Alright. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I'll find another one in no time. What is this? Is this a pool? This looks like a pool. Alright. I'm looking for a locker 52. These look like lockers. Bum, 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 bum. 52 is right here. Boot me and lock this door using locker key 52. Um, you got Norwood's fake mutton chops. Oh, the flask is broken. What? The flask is broken by a bowling ball. Well, that just seems like he was stupid. Also, I like how no other locker is, like, touchable. It's just that one specific one. One to 40. Let's go see if there's another locker I'm going to end up going to later. Oh, there's no one to 40 over here. It's just bathroom stalls, I think. Hmm? Oh, there's a swimming pool. Warning, no lifeguard on duty. Oh, I can't actually go swimming. There's someone just getting high by the pool. Hey, man. I'm like, oh, there's a key. You got the, ooh, key to room 209. Oh, he's actually just asleep. He just looked like he was poisoning it with the key. The key smoke. Uh, this is this a pool noodle? Can I grab this? I might need this. No. Nope. Let me do that. Well, I guess we'll go the key. Well, that's just wrong. Guess we'll go to room 209. We unlocked it. Uh, so. What else we got around here? Um, alright. The 29 looks suspicious. Will it? Jesus Christ, that weird number. Alright. That, oh, oh, we're out of time. Alright, uh, next time on Skeletons. Oh, uh, next time on Cell Act, everyone. I feel like we did, like, nothing. But also, like, I feel like this is this game. I don't know. Boy, I think I'll do the 14-minute episode. So, next time on Solo Act, everyone. See you later. Bye bye alligator. Don't stick your arms in elevators. It's not fun.